So I think it's safe to say that this week's episode of 91 Days was not left in the dust by last week's, even though last week's was phenomenal with that ending. This episode was no exception. It reveals a lot at the end and really gives us a different outlook on the family. I mean, watching Cordio get his ass beat for the betrayal he did and watching Angelo have to decide what he should do. Should he kill Nero and free his friend or should he let this happen so he can continue on his path of revenge? He wanted him to leave earlier. He gave him the perfect opportunity so in the back of his mind he must be thinking well this is the fate he's been dealt and I have to continue on but at the same time he has been friends with him for so long it's not that easy to do and I mean he even gets kidnapped or well it's hard to say exactly what happened because Cordio does escape which I think the person who did kidnap him helped him escape and then they got out of there but he tells Angelo through a phone call that if he doesn't kill Nero by midnight of the following day he will be killed and as he's going to tell him who the letter is from the phone gets hung up so I was thinking you know that was all we were going to get for a tease but at the very end of the episode we get to see that it was actually I think his name is Gonzo I think it's I think that's his name if I'm not mistaken I could be messing up there's so many people in this show it's hard to keep track and I think he's Nero's uncle but that's interesting that he was the one to send the letter like why what would he gain from that is he trying to push the best out of Nero or does he actually want Nero to die like why would he do that? I mean, I really don't know. I really don't see what the purpose was. Or unless maybe secretly he's been betraying Nero's family this entire time and actually he was in support of Angelo's. That's the only thing I could think of. But I mean, that was just interesting. We see Angelo pointing a gun at the door, which I thought he was going to Nero's home. And I thought he was going to take him out. But no, it's interesting on why that is the case. I mean, Nero and Fongo's family have merged together after the death. So... This is going to be interesting. For one, how are the remaining four episodes going to play out? Because now we know who sent the letter. So next week's episode is probably going to be for the first half determining why they sent the letter in the first place and why he wanted that path to revenge. And what does he gain out of it? Seriously, like what would he gain by betraying his own family? Or is he really betraying his own family? What is he trying to push and what is he trying to succeed? That's the question I have. I mean, I generally I can get some sort of theories rolling in my head, but I really don't have any. Really, the only thing that comes to mind is that all along he was in favor of Angelo's family. But I mean, I really did like seeing Nero talk to Angelo when he was drunk near the end of the episode and said that you know I couldn't shoot anyone I really never wanted to shoot anyone and he's just letting out his emotion because in a lot of ways I'm in support of Nero surviving at the end of the series and I mean if someone has to die between Angelo and Nero I kind of want Nero to live I mean despite him being you know a mob leader he has good intentions overall he's not a complete asshole and I mean I think if he goes out, I mean, the family's just going to get corrupt in all honesty, and I really want him to succeed. Now, I will mention, though, there was a couple of scenes that were very drastic when it came into its art. Like, when Angelo's walking towards the camera, like, literally the face is, like, misformed and misshaped. Like, it looked really bad at some times, but I mean, overall, it looks solid. But there were quite a few scenes that were a little jarring, and I just wanted to point that out, because I thought that was a major downfall to a really good episode. But the voice acting and everything was on point, and all the facial expressions Angelo gives to the people, you can see his revenge and how much he wants to kill at certain times, like when he's talking with Nero's father and things like that. Like, that's amazing. And now he is the dawn of the family. So there's a lot of questions I have. Why did someone from his own family betray him like that? Like, why would someone so close to Nero do that? The only thing that comes to my mind, like I said, is that he must be more in favor of Angelo's family than anything else in some way, and he's always been a traitor, unless there is more to it. But I mean, this show has proven to be so much more than what we originally thought, so I could see another twist coming our way. I'd like to, you know, just sit here for five minutes theorizing all the possibilities, but really, this lets me a little speeches of what I think could happen. But really, I'm interested in here for everyone. What do you guys think? Like, why did he betray Nero? or is a betrayal let me know your guys' theories i'm always interested here especially with 91 days because no one has manga or source material to base it off of so let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you did enjoy the video be sure to hit that like button to share your support if you're new to the channel subscribe for more content like this and so much more so until next time everyone please take care and have a good one